Hi guys, good morning. Maya with Simply Bloom. I am out in the garden during my favorite time of the day to be in the garden and it's early morning. Today I am working on preventing cabbage worms and I am doing that by planting marigolds. I saw a picture on Pinterest. I will try to find it, link it down below. I'll pop it up right here so you can see. It's been shown that marigolds help prevent against cabbage worms and aphids. So I have been planting them around all my cabbages, Brussels sprouts, broccolis, and all of that. Now I have broccoli planted in two different locations, one in my east garden and one in my south garden. And the one in the east garden, the only thing that's eating those are deer and chickens, but I don't notice any insect bites or slug activities or anything like that. The one up in my south garden, I don't have marigolds planted around and they're not getting eaten by chickens or deer, but they're getting eaten by a lot of just insects, so slugs and probably some other caterpillars and stuff like that. So I hope I'm not too late, but I'm going to be planting marigolds around those today to see if I can prevent cabbage worms because there's nothing worse than finding those green little worms in your broccoli or brussels sprouts or cabbage so i'm going to try to prevent those and two i'm going to see if this prevents the slugs from demolishing my broccoli as well so you can see i have lots of marigolds to choose from i've just kind of been scattering it all over the yard i was never a huge fan of it to begin with years ago um, but the more i use it the more i really like it and it's supposed to repel mosquitoes which we have a lot of and now the bugs and caterpillars and slugs and just all of that so it's turning out to be a very useful plant so i'm just going to um, select a color and i'll bring you over to where i have my broccoli Okay, here is my broccoli plus a yarrow that I need to transplant. Um, and if you look close, you can see my leaves are being eaten. And I don't like that at all. So I'm going to start with planting marigolds in between. And you will see if that works excuse this we used to have a greenhouse here and it actually somehow caught fire and burnt down and there is some electrical cords left over from the greenhouse so i just planted around that they think there was this group of high school kids going around and starting fires to people's property and they started a fire to our greenhouse so that was cool almost burned down the house but it didn't thankfully so all good but I'm just gonna set up the camera and start planting Okay, I am all done. I think it looks so cool having that bright pop of color up against the, like, the dark matte leaves of the broccoli. I love it. So let me show you how it looks. Here they are. I hope I planted them close enough. I don't, I don't know. Part of me wants to do another row on this side and that side as well. But I kind of have them in between a group of four plants. So we'll see. And those do fill in and get bigger. So I feel like by the time the broccoli grows up and that grows up, they should be pretty close to touching. So there's that. This poor one here. I was trying to snap off a spent bloom and the whole plant just like broke broke right down the middle it like split the stem now each side is still attached to the stem but there's just like a split right down in there so if that dies like tomorrow the next day I do have one more to replace it with but that is that all right you guys that is it for this video I hope this helps because if it does I'm gonna be super excited I don't like to spray foods with chemicals or 
anything like that. And I could put slug bait around the bottom of each plant, which I think would be fine. Um, but I like, I'm going to try this method first. So we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next one. I will keep you updated on how this does. Um, if it works or not, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.